All right. I got some stuff this weekend. If you guys could hit that like button, run it up. I got good stuff. I got heat today, guys. I got heat. Do you want sneakers? Or do you want some fun random shit? I'm telling you, I'm excited. Fun random? Okay. I did not intend on purchasing this, but Will was like, buy this right now. This was his decision. And I'm excited to take a look at this because this is definitely different. Definitely different. Let's open this up. I have no idea what to expect. I didn't even look at it. He's just like, just buy this and gave me the link. It's a black box. Any guesses what this is? We have the new Tesla Cyber Beer in Cyberstein Limited Edition set. <laughs> we got some Tesla beer. I have no idea what the hell this is. We are going into the future, baby. Who wants to drink some beer? Look at the Stein. I get the Tesla logo. Bro, I feel like I'm in cyberpunk. Uh, government warning, according to the Surgeon General, women should not drink while they're pregnant. All right. Ha ha ha, cheers, it says. That's it. Ha ha ha, cheers. This was 200 bucks. We got two, aw, uh, you know what's sad? I got two things of beer and two glasses for nobody to share my beer with. All right, so one thing it is, this is gonna be warm. Hit that like button, run it up, because we're going to try this. $200 beer right now. And it's going to be warm and disgusting, so please hit that like button and run it up. Don't drink it now. Someone said don't drink it. Do you want me to wait? Okay, well, wait till tomorrow. I'm going to put this on chill. I'll put the mug in the, in the fridge, too. We'll chill the mug. Okay, next up. We got heat. These finally came in. Let's check these out. We have some SBs. Here you go. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike. We have a size eight. Size eight. Boom, born and raised. Woof. Woof. Damn, no one talks about this shoe anymore, huh? What do you guys think now, now that it's been weeks, or if not, it's been like a month, right? It's been a little over a month since they dropped. Are these the best SBs? of 2023 man i mean the quality is insane obviously i wish i would have got these in my size dude the details are insane one block at a time bro overrated they're overrated born and raised on the bottom crazy just and dude the details are nuts though born on the tongue and then on the turf it's crazy that so many people are saying mid now mad people are saying mid i mean on the release day people went nuts for these bro the build up the anticipation for this shoe was absolutely incredible to now see everyone flip and switch on this shoe it tells you where a lot of people are at in the sneaker game it's just the hype is so quick right it's so quick and then it's gone it's so quick and it's gone everyone was so into it and then a month later nobody can care everyone says they're they're bricks they're trash and i think that's just been a common theme this year overall the materials are insane the colorway is nice bro it's blue it's blue and white man it's that la kind of dodger color comes with pink laces a lot of people love the pink laces on these huh cream lace and then it comes with white these are flat too it's a flat lace are they worth the money probably not they're still going for a lot in big sizes 600 bucks big sizes size eight it's like 390 400 bucks i probably won't end up getting my size i, I mean 600 bucks, that's, that's expensive. They're very nice, man. I'm not gonna switch up. If you guys are saying that these are not some of the best SBs of this year, then what is? Cause this was definitely up there. The Crenshaws are nice. Crenshaws were nice. Haritos, Haritos and Yotos. I'll give you, I'll give you that. I like the Haritos. I do like the Haritos. I think the Haritos are very nice, dude. But, so, but you'll give these top three. Say the top three. Aprils. You think the Aprils will beat this? There's been a lot of good SBs this year then. A very good year. Supremes. But we ended up getting these. So, um, unfortunately, if anyone's interested in a size 8, let me know. Obviously, I can't fit into a size 8. All right, one more. Here's the last surprise. Another one. Another one. Another one. Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike. Size 12. Any guesses? Boom. Some tight boofs. 
We got some tight boofs. A little bit interesting. This one, a little bit interesting. I'll tell you that. Because the material's kind of different. Here they are, tight boofs. AKA the reverse panda SBs, bro. Reverse panda SBs. Here they are. Interesting, interesting leather pattern on this, man. Interesting. You can see the details right there. Tight booth. Suede toe box. White bottoms. My favorite part on this shoe is by far the tongue. The tongue is so sick on these. The tongue is so sick. And then, yes, orange tongue. Orange tongue. Now, these are reflective, so they are 3M. Nike Swoosh is 3M. Comes with orange laces, so if you want more of a pop. The one thing that I'm kind of unsure on with these, bro, if I keep it real, the inch, the inside has this weird material. I've never felt this. Like it, it feels hard as a rock, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't feel, see that? See the details right there? That pattern, it's stiff. These are super, super stiff. The sock liner should have been black. A lot of people might not like these because the bottoms are white too, though. This shoe's not gonna go for a lot of money. I'll tell you that right now. Cause there also is no connection to tight booth. People probably don't even know what tight booth is. I think a lot of people, you never know though, because this might become one of the more affordable SBs. People might eat these up and be like, oh my God, there's potential long-term. If people wear it, they're gonna get messed up. These are gonna get messed up so easy. You're right though, people are calling them pandas. This is where another situation where, because the pandas are so popular, that it could hurt the value of the shoe. It hurts the shoe. People are just gonna make fun of them calling Panda SBs. Honestly, I mess with these. To me, these just like, I don't know why, but they just remind me of Stormtroopers. Now they're 135, which is stupid. Why did they go up to 135 on these? I don't know. Uh, maybe because of the reflective swoosh. I don't think these are gonna be like 300, 400 always by any stretch. I think these will be right around 200 bucks. 75,000 pairs. So if there's 75,000 pairs, that's good. That's a lot. These are releasing on November 14th, I want to say. They are already doing raffles at your local skate shop. So make sure you check it out. I already saw Premier did their raffle. Most people are saying, eh, mid. I see a couple fires in here. If I'm going to give a score on this sneaker, for an SB, I would probably give these an 8.1. They're not terrible but they're not blowing you out of the water. They're better than candy corns. I personally would take these over Run the Jewels. These over Aprils, no. I would not take these over Aprils. 8.1, that's what I'm giving these, 8.1. Uh, Run the Jewels score, I don't think I gave the Run the Jewels a score. The Run the Jewels, I probably would end up giving it like a 7.3. I'd probably give them like a 7.3. You should give Run the Jewels another listen. I probably should, you pro I probably should. I haven't listened to the music. I haven't really dived into the music, you know?